Hello everyone, Mystic Intuition here, getting ready to do a collective reading. That means this is not sign specific, so if you are intuitively drawn here for any reason, the messages may resonate for you. If it does resonate, but even if it doesn't, know that I do put out weekly videos for each individual zodiac sign, so make sure you go and check those out. Alright, this is going to be for the person that you are in love with. How do they feel about you right now? What are their current feelings for you? The person that you're in love with, how do they feel about you? Okay. <clears throat> Sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. And then we have palm tree. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. So for some of you, this is somebody who does watch you. Okay, like they keep tabs on you. They're curious about you. They watch you They're, You know, even if they're not finding stuff, because listen, I already know I always get these comments. Mystic, my social media is private. Oh, I don't have social media. It doesn't have to be through, you know, Facebook or Instagram or something. They can watch it in many other ways. You know, if you have like a, a Pinterest board from eight years ago, if you have, you know, your company's website with company picnic photos from last year or the Christmas party from six years ago, you know, your friends and family's pages, if they just Google search your name, even if they don't find stuff, this person's curious. This person's watching you from a distance. This person, they do feel that you're someone who's always been very stable dependable. They think of you as someone that they can always rely on, okay? Like you'll always be there for them. Okay. We have hammer and self-indulgence. This one says sabotage, rebuilding, integration, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. And then we have self-indulgence. Focus on self self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. So this has been one of those connections where it has been kind of on and off, or it has been, you know, back and forth at times. They may feel that, you know, you're someone who's constantly putting in effort, always available, dependable, like no matter what's going on, no matter what your relationship to them at this moment in time, they feel that no matter what they have, you will always be that person who will accept them and love them and be there for them and be supportive and they feel like you are trying to take this time for yourself because you've given so much to them so they can feel some guilt here too for the past tell me more love how do they feel about you unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection and attraction so it's not a, this is not a matter of someone not having, you know, mutual feelings for you. They do. And we're going to look more at like what these feelings really are and this situation overall. But this is someone who is in love with you. Soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. They feel like you are their soulmate. You are their other half. You're their person. And now no matter what type of, you know, spiritual label you want to put on it, soulmate, twin flame, kindred spirit, karmic, you know, they don't, maybe they don't know terminologies. Maybe they don't know, you know, the differences, but they know that there's something about you. I think most people kind of blanket term soulmate. They feel there's a connection with you. Unlike they feel like you're their person. You're their other half. They're in love with you. Okay, let's see. They watch you. This is one of those things that's like, maybe this is one of those connections that has been kind of going on for a long time. And it's been the same cycle of kind of back and forth with them. They kind of get selfish at times and focus on themselves and pull away. But then they kind of come back around. Um, I think I'm going to pull this deck. Okay. So what is the energy here, please? Tell me, let's first look at the situation. I just want to get a couple cards for what the situation is between you and this person. And then I'm going to look at their thoughts, their feelings, and like what intentions this person has. Um, so let us see. What is the situation between you and this person? Okay, so five of pentacles. You're not together at this time. There's some type of distance. This person could also have some concerns when it comes to their financial situation, or you may as well. But this is like feeling alone, feeling left out, shut out, you know, wondering, again, wondering what's going on with you, stalking, right? They're, 
wondering what you're doing, if you moved on, you know, if you're thinking about them, because they don't have like a front row seat to your life right now. You and this person may not be in contact or there's some type of physical or emotional distance. They're missing you. We have the hanged man and it feels like things have been kind of stuck for a while with this person. This is Pisces energy. And I'm just noticing like this grumpy look on this man's face. Like this, again, male or female, we don't read gender, we read energy here. But this is someone who is very stubborn, who is keeping themselves held back, keeping themselves stuck. For some of you, they might have been waiting to see if you were going to reach out to them. And I know some of you are already going to be like, oh, Mystic, I've tried. I, you know, it's always making an effort. They need to reach out to me. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying this person might have missed an opportunity or a window to say something now too much time has passed and they're holding back hoping that you're gonna you know hey i've been thinking about you that kind of thing four of rods so for some of you it could be that this person is already working on a, an existing relationship they may be living with someone that's not for all of you if that's not the case this person may have distanced themselves or ghosted you because they wanted things to stay the way they were. They were afraid of moving toward commitment, uh, but they were scared of like, you know, marriage, all of that. I think that this person really does miss you though, and they want to come back around. They recognize you as that one person that they have always been able to count on. And that's really important and it can feel really lonely when you recognize you don't have anybody else like that in your corner and that you might have sabotaged things with the one person that, you know, really truly gave you that. How does this person think about you? What are their thoughts about you right now? What is this person's thoughts? The lovers, Gemini energy. Like I said, okay, we have love, we have soulmates, and we have the love. They're, they're in love with you. They recognize how strong their feelings are. You are their person. You're their divine counterpart. You're who they're supposed to be with. Sometimes, though, the lovers can talk about making choices. So they may feel that one or both of you may have a choice to make about love. How do they think about you? The sun, my God. Uh, the sun is Leo energy. This is the happiest card in the deck. This person is in love with you. I cannot stress this enough. And I think that this person feels so guilty for their past actions and how they mistreated you. They miss you. They feel lonely. They're watching you from a distance. They know that they have messed up time and time again. And that's why they're hesitant about coming forward. The sun is the happiest card. You make them feel comfortable and safe and seen. They, like, they can just be themselves, right? You're someone who is so optimistic and you try to stay positive. You, you're cheerful. You, you uplift others, okay? How do they think about you? The six of wands. This person is very prideful and they want there to be success with you. But they really want to know that if they come towards you, that you're going to accept them back the way things were before. Like I said, this person knows that you will always be there for them in some kind of supportive way. But as a friend or a lover or something more, that's the question for them. They want to be certain that, you know, you're not going to be like, it's okay, I'm here, I support you, I understand, are you okay, you're checking in, you know, I care about you, I want the best for you, or, you know, are you going to say, I love you and I want to be with you and I want to make this work? They're curious, like, is it going to be more than that? Do you feel that same way? They know you'll always be there, but can it be something more? Because for some of you, there's a choice that needs to be made here. They want to know that this is going to work between the two of you. How do they, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? The King of Cups. The, like I said, I, I cannot emphasize this enough. You are the only person they have ever loved. You see this King of Cups? You see him? This is like the, the King of Cups, King of Feelings, right? We see him like looking at, he's holding these flowers. He's looking at this like book, which reminds me of like a photo album or a diary or something or, like old messages. This person, look at the smile on his face, like look, thinking back at the past, pulling out this old photo album, looking at your photos. There's so much love here. How do they feel about you right now? How does this person feel about you right now? How does this person feel? <clears throat> Seven of Wands. They feel protective over you. Like they're so scared 
that somebody could, like they want to stand in your corner. They want to protect you from anything and anyone. They want you to feel strong. They want you to feel safe with them. And not just in like a physical way, but like an emotional way too. Because you've always given that to them where they feel so safe and loved and seen. This person feels like the two of you, like there's risk here associated with moving forward. But there's also so much excitement and playfulness. The fool is oftentimes like this, like head in the clouds, daydreaming, fantasizing, whistling your favorite tune type of energy. And what they feel, they feel like they want to fight for you. They want to fight for this new beginning with you because they can't stop reflecting on the past and how happy they were when they were with you. And they know that you'll hear them out, that you'll be there, but they, they're really scared that maybe you don't want more because of what happened in the past. What are their intentions with you? The Four of Cups. They may have to reject something else or someone else in order to be with you. Or they may have to disappoint people in their life in order to be with you. What are their intentions? The Chariot. This Look, the, we see somebody who is like at home. Listen, I don't want to be here. And then we have them like packing up their stuff and they're in the chariot and they are gone. They are moving towards some cancer energy. They are moving to something of cancer, Aries, Leo, Gemini, Pisces, very strongly here. They are, they are moving away from something in order to be with you. But they know that someone or something is going to be like very disappointed in them. What are their intentions? Three of Cups is reconciliation. It's dating. It's going out. This is an epiphany, a realization, that aha moment of clarity. This person recognizing, I need to make a decision. And even though I have doubts and fears, and maybe some people aren't going to like what I have to say, I can't keep holding myself back, staying stuck inside my mind, because I can't let you go. I can't stop thinking about you. I want this new beginning in love. I want to move forward with this one person who has genuinely always been there for me, loved and supported me because this person is head over heels in love with you. They've never stopped thinking about you. They want to they want to come towards you. They want to move towards you, possibly even like move in together for some of you. All right, so this card here says playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember that love is the greatest healer. This card here says life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist, resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. This one here says criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform and this one says transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things beautiful energy that's what i have for you guys thank you guys for watching thank you for liking sharing and subscribing if you're interested in booking a private reading with me the link to my etsy shop is in the description box below i do have a 25 percent off sale for the entire month of january there is no code that is needed um, as always i wish you strength and many blessings Bye-bye.